In this session, I will explain how to use the position switching function. The actual coordinates of the equipment are compared with the values entered in the parameter, and when the position of the equipment is within the coordinates of the input minimum and maximum values, the NC outputs to the F address designated by the PLC. The output signal can be used to control the machine, such as interlock on the PLC. Let's see how to set the first position switching. Parameter number 6910 sets the axis number corresponding to position switching. 1 stands for x-axis and 2 stands for y-axis. Parameter number 6930 sets the maximum operating range value of position switching. Parameter number 6950 sets the minimum operating range value of position switching. That is, if the axis specified by parameter number 6910 is located between the machine coordinate of parameter number 6930 and that of parameter number 6910, the F70.0 .0 signal is on in the PLC ladders. Otherwise, the F70.0 .0 signal is off. It can be used for various interlock signals of automation such as gentry loader control. Let's see how to set the second position switching. Parameter number 6911 sets the axis number corresponding to position switching. 1 stands for x-axis and 2 stands for y-axis. Parameter number 6931 sets the maximum operating range value of position switching. Parameter number 6951 sets the minimum operating range value of position switching. If the axis specified by parameter number 6911 is located between the machine coordinate of parameter number 6931 and that of parameter number 6951, the F70.1 signal is on in the PCL ladders. Otherwise, the F70.1 signal is off. It can be used for various interlocking signals of automation, such as gentry loader control. Let's see how to set the third position switching. Parameter number 6912 sets the axis number corresponding to position switching. 1 stands for x-axis and 2 stands for y-axis. Parameter number 6932 sets the maximum operating range value of position switching. Parameter number 6952 sets the minimum operating range value of position switching. If the axis specified by parameter number 6912 is located between the machine coordinate of parameter number 6932 and that of parameter number 6952, the F70.2 signal is on in the PLC ladders. Otherwise, the F70.2 signal is off. It can be used for various interlock signals of automation, such as gentry loader control. Let's see how to set the fourth position switching. Parameter number 6913 sets the axis number corresponding to position switching. 1 stands for x-axis and 2 stands for y-axis. Parameter number 3933 sets the maximum operating range value of position switching. Parameter number 6953 sets the minimum operating range value of position switching. If the axis specified by parameter number 6913 is located between the machine coordinate of parameter number 6933 and that of parameter number 6953, the F70.3 signal is on in the PLC ladders. Otherwise, the F70.3 signal is off. It can be used for various interlock signals of automation such as gentry loader control. Let's see how to set the fifth position switching. Parameter number 6914 sets the axis number corresponding to position switching. 1 stands for x-axis and 2 stands for y-axis. Parameter number 6934 sets the maximum operating range value of position switching. 
parameter number 6954 sets the minimum operating range value of position switching. If the axis specified by parameter number 6914 is located between the machine coordinate of parameter number 6934 and that of parameter number 6954, the F70.4 signal is on in the PLC ladders. Otherwise, the F70.4 signal is off. It can be used for various interlock signals of automation, such as gentry loader control. That is the end of my explanation on how to use the position switching function.